Very special project we are talking about here on Faith and Friends, Hope with Oils Project, Returning Warriors. And we're joined once again by Juanita Markham, ichoosetobewell.com, uh, giving us so much good information about essential oils for our lives, for our pets, and also for wounded warriors who come back from war. Um, you know, our hearts are out to these men and women that have served our country, they come back and, and we need to help them and you guys are doing just that. Yes, we are starting a project here in Lima and the Hope With Oils is actually a project that is already in, in place. So there's a couple ladies um, that started that and they put information out that people can use. Um, they have a really good book, I believe it was Survival 101. Okay. And um, I found mine on Amazon when I got it. So we've been using some of these books to learn information. Um, we're working with a couple veterans that are dealing with PTSD now so that we can make sure that we're finding the right oils to go with what they're dealing with. Um, PTSD is not necessarily just for people who have gone to war. Sure. Um, we're also kind of looking at this to be for local police departments, oh, wow. sheriff's department, you know, other people that deal with traumatic experiences. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I deal with a, a lot of people that come in. Some of the top things that I deal with are um, stress and needing to sleep. Oh, those, okay. those are two big things. And there's a lot more people that are dealing with post-traumatic stress than, than you right. realize anymore. Right. Um, we have a lot of warriors that come back and you, they're not necessarily diagnosed. Um, it's not something that they always want to deal with. You don't want to have to deal with the doctor. Um, there's fear of dealing with VA in some cases. Yeah. Um, and so they don't get diagnosed. And so this is something that is deals more with the symptom side of it. So the oils, they don't heal the PTSD right. as a whole. Right. We deal with the symptoms that they deal with. And so the Hope with Oils project is, um, has information that we're using in order to be able to work with these veterans, um, work with their families, because it's not just the veteran that comes back and that's affected. Yeah. Um, we have active military that's still in place. You have family that then is stressed out because they're trying to figure out how to deal with this person who left who was different, has now come back and is, is dealing with a lot of um, physical and possibly mental things that they didn't have when they left. When we look at Bible times, we see battles all the time. Right. And, and they didn't have, they can go, couldn't go down to their local <laughs> pharmacy and get a prescription filled for their, uh, their aches and pains or when they had to have surgery. You know, right. if you read the Old Testament, it's pretty graphic about what happened during battle and death was very common and injury was very common. And ancient cultures went to the oils many times for their warriors to heal them. That was the natural medicine cabinet. I mean, if you kind of even go all the way back to Adam and Eve, they had their garden. Yeah. And that's where the oils are based from. So they come from plants and roots and leaves. And um, it's, it's something that God's provided. And um, we look at it and it's like, where has it been all, all these years? Well, <laughs> um, it, it's not necessarily something that the, the big farm really wants to be known exactly how well they work. Um, it's something that you do still need to talk with your doctor about. Right. I mean, there's, it, it's not the fix all. Right. So you do still need to, you know, take care of things as, as you need to, but the essential oils can definitely be, um, they can help with prevention as well as help to deal with things that you're currently dealing with. So they help the body to heal. They don't necessarily heal themselves, mm. but they help the body to do what it's supposed to again where we've kind of lost that with synthetic medications and some of those things. The Hope With Oils Project can have a benefit concert that is coming uh, our way right here to Lima, September 10th. All the details are, are still coming together, but yes. uh, you're excited for this event. I, I am very excited about this project. Um, we originally, we would like to go bigger one of these days <laughs> and maybe have um, somebody famous come in. So we've been talking about some of that. And in the meantime, um, our I Choose to Be Well team had said, well, why don't we have just a concert in the park? It's somebody local to come in. And it was like, well, that's just like a genius idea. We can do that. <laughs> so we, um, we started talking and we're looking to find the, the right band okay. to come in. We're looking at some local people here right now. And hopefully we'll be out at Ottawa Metro Park out at the amphitheater. Okay. Um, that's going to be finalized here before too awful long. <laughs> It'll be a free event. Um, we'll take donations. Okay. And what we're going to do is then we're going to, anything that we get, any profits that we have from this event 
is going to go into providing essential oils to veterans at little, little or no cost, depending awesome. on who we're working with. Mm -hmm. um, we'll want to make sure that they are a veteran, find out what they're dealing with, and then provide the education on how to use it with Great. them. So it doesn't do any good just to give you an oil and right. say, here, use this. Um, we need to explain what it is, how to use it, and also make them easily accessible so that people dealing with um, PTSD, if one of the symptoms they're dealing with is like a panic attack of mm -hmm. some sort, um, we need to find oils that can help deal with some of those stress and mood management um, pieces of it that they can look at it without having to try to figure out, okay, now which oil does this? Right. We have it labeled. They can just pull it out of their little kit and they can use it and then see some relief from it. Awesome. So. Well, thank you for all you're doing. Again, you can go to ichoosetobewell.com for more information with Juanita Markham. And we appreciate your time.